Street Fighter 6 is on its way, and we've almost arrived at its June launch date. Every mainline Street Fighter game makes waves, and Capcom changes the formula just enough to merit that numeral add-on. So here is everything you need to know about Street Fighter 6. To start, if you haven't played it, there's actually a demo available right now for Street Fighter 6, focusing on the game's World Tour mode, available on PS5, PS4, PC, and Xbox Series X S. So if you are interested, stop watching this video, go play that, and come back. Gotta do this. Come on. This. If you couldn't tell by the grizzled look of Ryu, Street Fighter 6 is set in the future of the series after the events of Street Fighter 3. As the game takes place after the events of Street Fighter 3, you can expect to see both familiar faces who survived the events of that game, as well as plenty of new faces. So let's quickly go over the roster before we press forwards. Returning characters include Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Blanca, Dalsim, E. Honda, Zangief, Kami, Guile, DJ, Jury, and Luke. New characters include Jamie, JP, Kimberly, Lily, Manon, and Marissa. Street Fighter games have slowly iterated on a system of meters that can enhance attacks and open up new windows of opportunities. And for Street Fighter 6, there will be an all new drive system to play with. In short, this is a system of five special moves and includes Drive Impact, Drive Parry, Drive Rush, Drive Reversal, and an Overdrive Art to Master. Once mastered, the Drive System allows you to absorb attacks, close gaps, counterattack when trapped in a corner, and repel any blows thrown at you, based on how much of your meter you have available to work with. The Drive Gauge has six bars to work with, and you'll spend one bar per Drive action. Running out of meter will place you in a burnout mode and leave you vulnerable to punishing offense until your energy is restored. Even if you block, you'll still take chip damage in this state and you'll want to stay on the offensive as this will help you refill your drive gauge more quickly. One of the big changes in Street Fighter 6 is a more varied set of controls that players can choose from. If you're confident and prefer an old school approach, then the classic control scheme is for you and will allow you to pull off advanced moves using traditional inputs. The modern control type allows for easier inputs where a special move can be performed by combining a special move button with one directional input, essentially streamlining the entire process. For an even easier option, the dynamic control type is an AI assistive feature that ensures that you'll always use the best move possible depending on your positioning and the level. This will allow you to unleash one-button combos, gap-closing moves from mid-range, and automatic projectiles from long-range. The catch here is that the dynamic control mode is only available in local play, and functions as a way to allow anyone to play Street Fighter VI regardless of their skill level. Next up, there's the major addition of World Tour mode. World Tour allows you to create your own custom avatar as you travel the world in your search for the answers to the question of, what is? Strength. This is an open world where your custom avatar can explore Metro City and learn how to become a world warrior by interacting with Ryu, Chun-Li, and Blanca. Beyond being able to customize your avatar's general appearance, you'll also be able to purchase gear from an apparel shop that will affect your abilities. That said, you can also opt to just use it for visual purposes for that sweet Street Fighter fashion. This mode has RPG mechanics where you'll gain experience and be able to level up your basic stats like your vitality, punch strength, or kick strength. You'll also receive skill points as you level up that you can use to increase the number of special moves and arts you can use or unlock other skills. By training with the aforementioned legendary fighters, you'll be able to learn their various special moves and mix and match them to create your own unique fighting style with your favorite set of moves, like spinning bird kick or flash knuckle. Another addition to Street Fighter 6 is that it features a real-time in-game commentary from some of the biggest names in the fighting game community. Jeremy Vicious Lopez and Tasty Steve are two shoutcasters who have recorded lines for Street Fighter VI, and the dialogue is designed to provide easy-to-understand explanations about gameplay so that rookie fighters can get a better grasp on the systems of the game. This feature will support subtitles in 13 languages for more accessibility, and Capcom says that more details will be revealed in future updates. For multiplayer, Capcom has added a few interesting ideas for creating a global fighting game community. Fighting Ground contains traditional modes such as arcade, online, local versus, and a training dojo. Meanwhile, you'll also be able to take the avatars you've created in World Tour mode and take them into the Battle Hub online to fight against other players' created avatars. Battle Hub resembles a gigantic arcade, and it's where you'll interact with other players. If you're not challenging other people in the room, you can organize a competition or sit down and watch a tournament play out. 
This space can fit up to 100 people, so there's a good chance that someone online will be looking for a friendly fight. To ensure better online play, Capcom has rebuilt its rollback netcode from scratch, and as seen in the recent beta, it's a huge leap forward when compared to Street Fighter V's heavily criticized adoption of that technology. Rollback Netcode is a system which makes online fighting games feel as if they're happening in the same room due to there being barely any lag between inputs. When it comes to tournament rules, Capcom has made a major change to the use of leverless controllers in its Pro Tour tournaments, as the developer says that if a player inputs up and down directions at the same time, then both inputs must either be maintained or rejected. In a nutshell, this has a significant impact on those controversial controllers, especially the ones manufactured by Hitbox, which gives players a sizable advantage in matches and allows them to perform certain moves more quickly than competing players who use standard fight sticks or controllers. As is now standard in fighting games, Street Fighter VI already has planned DLC with new characters coming out. April's Street Fighter VI Showcase revealed the first four characters that will be added after the game launches. Street Fighter V's Rashid will arrive first, bringing his powerful moveset of wind-based powers with him, and he'll be followed by a new character in Fall 2023. Next up, AKI, a mysterious woman with a pale appearance who uses Chinese martial arts and claw-based weaponry to slice opponents to ribbons. Then, there's another returning Street Fighter V character in Ed, who will be releasing Winter 2024. Lastly, fan favorite Akuma steps back into the ring, and not too much has changed here. Wielding the dark powers of the Satsui no Hado, Akuma hits hard and decisively, and he'll finish you off with his signature raging demon attack if you give him an opening. So far, Capcom is advertising a year one pass that will unlock those four DLC characters when they're added to the game. This season pass can be purchased separately, or alternatively, it'll be included in the Deluxe and Ultimate Edition of the game. For the in-game currency, players will be able to buy drive tickets that can be used to purchase cosmetics, as Street Fighter VI will have various alternative costumes to acquire and dress your favorite characters up in. Street Fighter VI will release on June 2nd, 2023 on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X slash S, and PC. The Standard Edition will cost you $60 and is available to pre-order at major retailers. Street Fighter VI also comes with a free upgrade from PS4 to PS5. The Deluxe Edition will cost you $85 and comes with a bunch of goodies, most notably the Year One Character Pass. With the pass, you get those four additional characters as they release and new outfit colors for them. In addition to the Year One Pass, you can get 4200 drive tickets, the in-game currency. Next up, the Ultimate Edition, which will cost you $105. Notably, the Ultimate Edition is only available digitally. It comes with the Year 1 Ultimate Pass, as well as two additional costumes for all four characters. You'll also gain access to two bonus stages and 7,700 drive tickets. Finally, there's the Street Fighter VI Collector's Edition, which will cost 250 big ones. It's a GameStop exclusive and only available for the Xbox and PlayStation editions of the game. This one includes everything from the Ultimate Edition, as well as a number of physical collectibles. A Mad Gear box, pop-up parade figures of Luke and Kimberly, a sticker set, art book, and figure diorama boards. And that's everything you need to know about Street Fighter VI. Which character can you see yourself choosing the main? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.